El Salvador may be a small Central American country, but it packs a big punch when it comes to tourist attractions. From ancient Mayan ruins to picturesque mountain towns, here are the best places to visit in El Salvador that will keep you entertained and awestruck. Number 11. Tasumal Step back in time to the ancient Maya civilization with a visit to Tasumal in El Salvador. This impressive ruin was first established around 5000 BC and was later abandoned in the 13th century. Tasumal was a major hub for trade and was known for its pyramid where victims were burned. While the site was restored in the 1940s and 50s, many of the ruins remain a mystery waiting to be excavated. Climb to the top of the tallest step pyramid, standing at a towering 75 feet, the largest in the whole country. While you're there, be sure to check out the museum where you can see artifacts uncovered during the excavation, including pottery, statues, and incense burners. But don't let the history lesson end there. Tasumal was self-governing until the Spanish arrived in the 1520s and took over, conquering and exploiting the local people. So not only can you marvel at the pyramids, but you can also learn about the struggles and triumphs of the Maya civilization. Number 10. Coatepeque Caldera Nestled in the heart of a volcanic crater, Lake Coatepeque is a stunning natural gem in El Salvador. Measuring 10 miles in diameter, it's one of the largest lakes in the country. Formed nearly 72,000 years ago by volcanic eruptions, today it's a paradise for water sports lovers. Whether you're into jet skiing, scuba diving, fishing, or aquatic cycling, you'll find plenty to do here. You can also take a ferry ride to the island in the center of the lake, or simply relax on the sandy shores and enjoy a refreshing swim. The area around the lake boasts a range of restaurants, so you can refuel and continue your adventures. Number 9. El Tunco If you're a surfing fanatic, then El Tunco should definitely be on your bucket list. Located just 45 minutes south of the capital, San Salvador, this little town is all about the waves and attracts thousands of surfers every year. Even if surfing isn't your thing, there's still plenty to do and see in El Tunco. Rent a scooter and explore the coastline, discovering hidden gems like waterfalls, beach parties, and endless ocean views at local restaurants and fancy hotels. El Tunco is also a great place to meet other travelers and exchange stories, with plenty of boutique shops, restaurants, and cafes to choose from, as well as a vibrant nightlife scene. Just ask your hotel's front desk for the best places to go when you're in town. If you're feeling a bit nervous about safety, know that El Tunco is one of the safest places to visit in El Salvador, especially for tourists. Number 8. Suchitoto Suchitoto is a charming colonial town located in the mountainous area around Lake Suchitlan in El Salvador. It's known for its picturesque views, colonial architecture, and historic landmarks, and offers a laid-back ambience. The town's cobblestone streets and adobe homes give it a charming old town vibe, and it's home to friendly locals who welcome visitors. One popular site in Suchitoto is the Museo Alejandro Coto, which boasts impressive art collections and beautiful grounds. While it's a small town and doesn't have many accommodation options, it's a popular day trip destination from the capital and can be reached by Uber or chicken bus. In Suchitoto, visitors can explore cute churches, colorful buildings, a nice market, and even take an indigo art workshop to learn how to use natural colors and create their own t-shirt. The town is also close to the beautiful Lake Suchitlan and the Los Tercios waterfall. Number 7. Lake Suchitlan Located just a stone's throw away from the charming town of Suchitoto, Lake Suchitlan is the largest man-made lake in El Salvador. Created by Saron Grande Dam in 1976, the lake is a popular spot for boat rides and wildlife spotting. With sloths, monkeys, iguanas, and a diverse array of birds and fish calling the lake home. Visitors can also enjoy kayaking and bird watching and can arrange boat rides with local fishermen. The lake is also a protected wetland that supplies energy and water for irrigation, livestock, and local residents. Number 6. Ruta de las Flores The Ruta de las Flores, or the Route of Flowers, is a must-see destination in El Salvador, known for its stunning wildflowers that line the roadside, best viewed from November to February. But it's not just about the flowers. This winding 20-mile road is also home to charming colonial towns, lagoons, waterfalls, coffee plantations, and colorful colonial architecture. Head to Wayua for the famous food festival, featuring all sorts of local delights like grilled meat, fresh seafood, and pupusas. Or make a taco your base for a few days. It's a quiet country town during the week, but gets livelier on the weekends. Don't miss the main towns along the route, Salcoa Titan, 
Nawizalko, Apeneka, Atako, and Waiua, all offering hotels and hostels for a comfortable stay. Whether you're looking to admire the flowers, explore the charming towns, or both, the Ruta de las Flores is the place to be for a taste of El Salvador's natural beauty. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide will teach you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 5. Lake Ilopango Lake Ilopango is an active volcanic caldera located near the city of San Salvador. It's a result of volcanic eruptions that occurred thousands of years ago, between 410 and 535 AD which desolated the Mayan cities in the area and formed a bowl-like caldera that became the 28-square-mile lake. Now, it's a popular spot for diving and boating, with its serene beauty and deep waters. Travelers can enjoy dining by the lake or renting a boat for a romantic ride, or take the kids to the nearby water park. Number 4. Cerro Verde National Park Cerro Verde National Park is a haven for nature lovers and adventure seekers alike, with its three volcanic peaks, Izalco, Cerro Verde, and the ever-active Santa Ana, surrounded by lush jungle and a network of hiking trails. This park offers some of El Salvador's most breathtaking landscapes. Hiking is the main attraction here, with the 7,800-feet summit of Santa Ana being a particular favorite. This is El Salvador's highest and most active volcano, and its four craters and glistening green crater lake never fail to impress. Meanwhile, Isalco, nicknamed the Lighthouse of the Pacific for its near-continuous eruptions over 160 years, offers equally stunning views. And if you are looking to explore the park on horseback or check out the local bird life, the eponymous Cerro Verde is the place to be, with its mountaintop cloud forest filled with colorful avians. Just make sure to bring a guide to help you navigate this natural wonderland. Number 3. Hoya de Seren Archaeological Site Ready to take a trip back in time? Look no further than Hoya de Seren, the Pompeii of the Americas. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a pre-Columbian Mayan farming village that was preserved in near-perfect condition thanks to a volcanic eruption that smothered it in ash around AD 600. The village was discovered in 1976, offering a glimpse into the daily life of the Mayan people over 1,300 years ago. Not only is Hoya de Seren a must-see for ancient history buffs, but it's also the only UNESCO World Heritage Site in El Salvador. So, don't miss out on the opportunity to step back in time and explore this well-preserved village. Number 2. San Andres Archaeological Park Archaeological buffs can combine a trip to Hoya de Seren with the San Andres ruins, just three miles down the road. This pre-Columbian site dates all the way back to 900 BC and was a major hub for trade between the Mayans and civilizations as far as Honduras, Belize, and Mexico. The city was home to around 12,000 Mayans at its peak and even served as the provincial capital. The site was discovered in the 1940s, but excavation work is still ongoing to this day. You can explore the grass-covered ruins of the pyramid and a large courtyard, and check out the museum featuring artifacts from pre-Hispanic and colonial times. Number 1. Monte Cristo National Park Monte Cristo National Park in El Salvador is a misty, forested wonderland where you can immerse yourself in nature, adventure, and some seriously chilly temperatures. This mystical place is home to pines, cypresses, oaks, and a whole bunch of beautiful flowers. It's the perfect spot for hikers, with trails leading to hidden swimming spots and ancient Mayan ruins. If you're feeling extra adventurous, you can soar through the treetops on the park's 1.5-mile zipline. Or, if you're more of a relaxer, you can kick back at Finca Santa Leticia, a coffee farm where you can stay in cozy bungalows and sip on delicious locally grown java. But the fun doesn't stop there. Monte Cristo is also home to a ton of amazing animals, including deers, ocelots, and the Central American agouti. And let's not forget the love tree, two trees that embrace in the most adorable hug. It's the perfect spot for bird watching, especially if you're hoping to catch a glimpse of the elusive Quetzal. Click here for more places to visit in Central America.